Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Azure Databricks master program, as you know now, uh, Databricks Delta Live Tables new UI is enabled for that. So I'll be explaining this Unity catalog also in this new UI. So in this particular session, we will see what is Unity catalog, okay? So Unity catalog is a centralized metadata repository. So as you know, centralized meaning at a one place metadata meaning data about data for example if you take a any movie so release date who is the director uh, who is the hero like something like that that is a metadata repository is nothing but a place it's a storage location for databricks meaning unity catalog is a centralized metadata repository to one place we are uh, storing all the data about data uh, like file the uh, when it is created what are the columns that we have what is the schema of it right size of that file etc repository is the place we, where we will be storing for this particular database that provides a data governance lineage and discovery capabilities data governance means rules that we are following lineage means a dependency what is the dependence between the tables discovery capabilities means we are uh, trying to find out the new capabilities within the data so all these things we are able to get it uh, with the help of the unity catalog so unity catalog provides these things next it can be used to manage data across multiple workspaces users application let's quickly see if you see earlier we used to handle the for each databricks workspace users metadata access uh, clusters all these things uh, like individually but now what you can do you can just uh, have a unity catalog where you can have centralized or you can say one place where you can able to control all the users metadata access control correct so you can see like user management metadata access control everything you can able to control through the one place so all these data bricks workspaces will have the uh, same rules same permissions across the different workspaces meaning instead of controlling individually you can control through a one place this will make it very very helpful for organizations to manage their users managing the metadata permissions everything at a one place let's quickly see more in detail whoever is not able to understand right so unity catalog is a centralized metadata repository for databricks that provides the governance lineage discovery capabilities it can be used to manage data across multiple workspaces users applications so in this first centralized centralized means unity catalog is a centralized repository which means that it is a single place where all of your metadata is stored this make it easy to find and manage your metadata it also helps to improve data governance data governance means rules that we need to follow to use that particular workspace so for example you can think of a family meetings all the family members will collect at one place right that's so centralized means everything at one place metadata is the data about it it includes information about the structure of your data such as the names of your tables columns as well as data types of your columns for example book what all information we will have on the book title author publication year etc in the movie if you take a metadata means movie title director actor release data the metadata for the movie so repository is a storage location for data so unity catalog is a repository for metadata which means that it is a place where you can store your metadata in a secure and organized way example you have google drive github online shopping cart right so where we will store our file similar to that we will be storing the metadata so these two words if you combine centralized at one place metadata data about data repository storage location where we are storing so meaning unity catalog is a centralized metadata repository for data bricks meaning we are storing all the metadata at a one place okay that is what it is saying now that provides a data governance lineage and the discovery capabilities what are those let's quickly see data governance data governance is the practice of managing data assets throughout their life cycle this includes activities such as defining data quality standards creating data access policies tracking data lineage correct so what it means is if you if you are 
playing a game right you will follow some rules of the game so until the game is finished you need to follow the same rules similarly uh, this data governance is basically a practice of managing the data assets throughout their life cycle meaning entire life cycle means if you take a game until the game is completed you are following the rules similarly this data governance rules also we need to follow throughout the data sets data assets life cycle this includes so like what are the data quality standards it has to follow and uh, creating the data access policies who can access uh, what data right tracking the data lineage who is accessing this particular data right so next to lineage what is lineage lineage is the history of data is created transformed and used it can be used to track the sources of source of data identify data dependencies troubleshooting the problems think of a family tree that shows how different generations are connected you have grandparents parents you yourself and then you have your kids right so there is a lot of generations are connected right you can also individually see for your uh, grandfather uh, how many uh, like sons how many daughters for uh, each son again how many daughters like that there is a dependency similar to that lineage is the dependency graph which shows discovery discovery is the process of finding and understanding the data unity tech catalog can help you to discover your data by providing a unified view of all your data assets example imagine you are exploring a new city right you want to know where are the main things that you have what all you must have to visit right similarly uh, unity catalog try to discover the process of finding the and understanding the data of new patterns all those things okay we will see those things i hope workspace you know so workspace is a logical grouping of resources in databricks this includes like uh, clusters notebooks jobs all these things i think you are well aware of workspace users a user is a person who has access to the databricks application is a software program that uses the databricks very simple okay so that's all team i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and support me and encourage me to do more videos thank you